Hey what's good guys, it's Zach, hope you all are doing well. Welcome to What's On My Android Phone, YouTubers Edition Part 2. As always, I have a whole bunch of awesome YouTubers here to share with you guys what's on their Android phones. I'll link their channels down below in the description, so if you haven't already, head over to their channels, show them some love, hit that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, enough talking from me, go ahead and take it away guys. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Carlson, here's a quick walkthrough of the setup on my S8 Plus. Starting off with the home screen, the wallpaper is from Wall Rocks, and I'm using the Nova Launcher and Rewon Icon Pack. I have the Google search bar up at the top, and then this cool widget is from Stun Super Widgets 2. My most used apps are always going to be on my home screen, so first you have my social platforms, and then email, calendar, and phone, plus Textra for SMS as well as Facebook Messenger. Now one of the reasons that I love using the Nova Launcher is that I have the ability to set swipe actions for apps. So on the YouTube app, as an example, if I swipe up, it will automatically launch the YouTube Creators app. Again, one more icon off of my screen, so I'm happy. Once I swipe left, I have the month widget for an easy view of my calendar, as well as the subscriber count widget. So next up, I wanted to share two of my new favorite apps with you. The first one is Flinks. This will open up links inside an app like Twitter without you having to leave the app. Here's a quick example. So when you click on a link, it will start loading in the background here in this little bubble. You can either continue browsing through your timeline or even open up the article to read it. And once you open it, you can click to save it for later or just read it and close it out after you're finished. And you're right back in that same spot where you left off. The second is volume notification. This adds icons to your notification bar to quickly adjust settings for your media volume, ringer, alarm, notifications, and then you can customize this right inside the settings. This has been a lifesaver for me. Thanks again to Zach for having me be a part of this. Please come over to my channel, say hi, and I'll see you in the next one. What's up guys, GQ with Tech Creation, and quick shout out to Zach for having me on this series. Appreciate that, bro. Anyway, so as promised, I've been using the Ice Platinum LG G6 for a couple weeks, and I want to show you guys how I have this bad boy configured. I wasn't really feeling LG's bland UI, so I had to switch it up ASAP. LG has a theme store of their very own, and the first thing I did was I went ahead and applied this dark blue and teal accented theme. It's actually called Trip Advisor B. I'm not sure why they named it that. So it basically changes the color of your toggles and menus, and it gives you sort of this neon look going on. Next up, I went ahead and smacked on Nova Launcher, and I made some small adjustments. I tweaked the Google search bar as well as the dock platform and kept everything in the same color family. Now for those more experienced viewers watching, you might have already noticed that I'm using the Moonrise icon pack. It complements my blue theme lovely and you get a bunch of different icon variations for all sorts of apps and services. So I use Newton as my preferred email client, support for virtually every email account, and these cool supercharged features like the ability to schedule an email, red receipts so you can see if people are ignoring your emails, and the ability to undo a sent email within about 10 seconds or so. I do recommend you guys take a crack at their free trial. Spotify Premium is probably the best music streaming service available. Send Anywhere is still my favorite file transfer app for all platforms. And then we have all of my social apps. These are all the stock apps, by the way. There's no third party ones. And I have to mention the Navbar app. This basically allows for light customization to your navigation bar on the bottom. But the main selling point for me and probably the best feature is to have the Navbar act as a mini music widget. You get this cool real time visualization displayed based on what you're listening to. Cannot tell me that doesn't look sick. I mean, look at that. So SwiftKey is packed with tons of different themes and I've enabled the Ninja Trainer theme. It basically challenges your typing skills with no keys, only dots. And it's actually not that hard to type. Your muscle memory really gets put to work. And lastly, I forgot to mention the name of the wallpaper I'm using is called Pearl Swirl from the Backdrops app. They have a great selection of wallpapers, including the wall of the day. They have a ton of different categories from material to minimal. Love this app and I managed to find some pretty sick looking wallpapers. Zach, thanks again buddy for having me on the series and I'll see you guys around. What's up everyone, I'm Matthew Moniz. Thank you Zach for having me on and today I'm gonna show you what's on my Samsung, okay this is an iPhone. Let's try it again. I'm gonna show you what's on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So I've been using this as my daily driver for the last little while and I'm gonna take you through the things that I use on a daily basis and the kind of setup that I'm using right now. So as you can see, I keep a very clean layout. Um, the only thing that I really install is Nova Launcher, which allows me to customize things. And the main reason why I installed Nova Launcher is for icon packs. So like right now I'm using the Pixel icon pack. And I also install Nova Launcher because it allows me to back up and import 
previous versions or previous home screens for my other devices. This allows me to save some time when I'm setting up a brand new Android device, which is like every single week. On top of that, the applications I'm using are, I have a social media folder for all my social stuff. So like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. And my money pit is basically where I make and spend money. So eBay, my bank account, the Play Store, and of course, fresh books for accounting. My entertainment folder, I got YouTube, Pocket Casts for podcasts because I switched between iOS and Android. Pocket Casts allows me to sync whatever I'm listening to between both devices so this way I can continue where I left off from the other device. Fantastic application. I have Spotify, Pushover, Roku, Netflix, Plex, free, oh shit. In terms of travel, I got Maps for Google Maps, Uber for getting around town, Calendar, Home Tech, so like Ring Video Doorbell, the Linksys for a router here at the studio. August Lock for a smart lock, Wink, which is control lights, and Amplify, which is my home Wi-Fi network. Chat program, obviously to chat to people. I have a bunch of chat applications in there. And of course I have storage, which is basically where I keep notes, my files, whatever I need to is gonna be in there. And of course the email application of choice is Newton. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's the old cloud magic, fantastic email program. Of course the Chrome browser to browse the web obviously and my camera. So that pretty much wraps up what's on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Thank you Zach for having me on and I'll see you guys in another video. All right, so there you have it. That does it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Again, make sure you check out everybody's channel down below in the description and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button but that does it for me i'll talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching